YouTube, what's going on? It's Preacher. So, don't be in a hurry to get caught up in the money, especially with these him on the office. You will hear other people say that what you making is not no money for no owner out. All right? They will say for owner out that making, you know, five to $6,000 a week ain't no money. You might as well don't even do it. And I tell people all the time, listen, that's no money for you, okay? What you need for your family is not what somebody else need for their family. And just because that person can't manage their money and they money hungry don't mean that you are doing that because people make sacrifices all the time. Could you be out here making $10,000, $11,000 a week, $8,000 a week? Yeah, but how long do you have to be away from your home to make that, right? If you're doing local work, I don't know not one owner op that does local work that's making $8,000 a week doing local work. And I'm just talking about drive van freight refrigerator freight. I ain't talking about none of these heavy hauls, extra wide loads with extra permits and all this other kind of stuff. I'm just regular drive-in, regular reefer. I don't. Not with you being home five nights a week and not working Saturdays and Sundays. Just talking about regular Monday through Friday work. I don't. I don't. You know, and what you need or what you're trying to do for your family is not what somebody else is trying to do. They may be a bad papa or mama. They may not like their family and want to be away from their family. Okay? When you got little kids, like for instance, I got twin boys, 15 years old, and a four-year-old daughter. Okay? So I'm going from only doing a 35-hour reset at my home to not being able to do that no more because of my uh, shoulder surgery and things like that. And was have to be on the road for three to four weeks before I come home to being home five nights a week. All Saturdays and Sundays. I run when I want to run. I take off when I want to take off. Good morning. You want a kitten? Oh, no. Aww. No, I already got a, I already got a cat. I got a cat and two dogs myself. I got nine kittens to give away. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I will. <laughs> That's my neighbor trying to get rid of the kid. But, you know, so don't listen to these other people, all right, that make you feel like you have to make what they have to make because of their living situation and their bills, okay? I was doing just fine before I became an owner-operator with my house and everything, and that was just making $1,100 a week. And I was still able to save about $2,000 a month, making $1,100 a week. So, and I own everything. I have titles. You know, I own my car. I own my truck. I own my motorcycle. The only thing I have is just my house. So, when you when you looking at stuff, don't listen to what these other people are saying. Because what you need is not what they need. And where you stay at and what's available where you stay at... It's not the same where they stay at. They may stay in the state or in an area where they got some great loads, making lots of great money, you know? So they can do stuff. So now you're trying to compare yourself to them or do what they think you should do for you for you, and your life and your family, and it, it's not going to work for you. So when you develop your business plan, you do what you think is right for you and your family and your family needs. Okay, you can't listen to what somebody else is making because they are the only ones that's doing that. You got to think about all these millions of truckers out here, all these millions of owner operators. Everybody does not make the same. So just because one particular person is doing something, it's right. And then they don't know your business plan. They don't know why you're making the sacrifices right now. You could be doing things to be building things up. And as long as you're at peace with yourself with things that you are doing, 
That's the only thing that matters. You at peace with yourself and the amount of money that you make. Okay, I made fifty-six hundred dollars last week. Okay, for me that's fine. I still take my eleven hundred dollars out, and the rest of the money it goes straight to my business. I don't have no other business expenses. I'm not going nowhere because of this coronavirus and all all this and stuff like that. I'm not going on vacation. Just putting the money back. It's like for instance, I need new new um fuel lines. But I've been saying that I was going to get the fuel lines and stuff changed in my truck, if y'all been watching my videos. So I'm getting the fuel lines changed today in my truck, you know, on, on one tank, because the other tank don't work. Um, I have to get new fittings and all kinds of stuff for that. So um, I'll get the new uh, fuel lines put on the other tank and drawing that to the uh, fuel pump and to the um, e ECM and stuff like that. So I'm getting that thing, thing done uh, uh, today on the truck. So I just do little stuff like that, you know, just keep, keeping the truck up, keeping the maintenance and stuff up. But I can choose if I want to work today. I can choose. I'm actually going to um, leave Sunday. I am going to leave Sunday night to uh, take a little of plastic up to uh, North Carolina so I can get my um, load from uh, Fairmount, North Carolina, for the contract I got. But that's besides the point. The point is, listen... Don't be in a hurry to try to get out here and try to make all this money out one fell swoop. I'm not trying to do this, all right? I'm trying to build the business the right way so that way I can eventually stop being on the road and have drivers to drive the trucks off the contracts that I have made. You know, you're doing this for a long time, so why are you trying to get off, get a truck, and try to get out here and try to make all the money that you can make right now? Why? A lot of times, that's because people never had that kind of money before. So now when they see that they can get that kind of money, they let the money run them instead of them run the money. I always made lots of money. Even when I was a chef before, I still was making $70,000 a year being a chef. So I always made a great income, okay? So I don't let money run me. I don't let the money run my decisions or how I make the decisions based off of the money. No, I don't, I don't do that. I make great decisions that is based off of my family and my family needs. And then I let that deter me to what type of decisions that I'm going to make in going forward. And at the same time, after being gone away from my family for my first four years in trucking, I'm trying to stay and be with my family as much as possible. So if that means that, hey, when I could have made another $3,000, so so be it. You know, I can care less about that. My family is more important. Seeing my kids grow up, being there for my kids grow up, because they're going through stuff through school and high school and things like that, that you, you, you want to be home for. So everybody's situation is different. You can't look at things. People being trucking for a long time. So take your time, make sure you're doing the best thing for yourself, and don't listen to these other people saying that, oh, they ain't no money. No, they ain't no money for them because it's you and it's your situation, okay? So you're doing what's best for you in your situation. You're not doing what's best for their situation. They need that money. They probably got child support. They probably don't know how to manage their finances. They probably don't know how to manage their money right and cause them to be inside of problems with money and situations like that. So you can't go there. You got to remember. You remember when we was in high school and all your friends hanging out in front of the school before it started? Then when school started, they went to the back of the school inside the little mobile homes, the little mobile trailers and stuff like that. You remember those ESE students? They had the learning disabilities, but they still was your homeboys and friends, but they had the learning disabilities. Yes, yeah, some of those is inside trucking too. Okay, everybody ain't right in the head that's inside trucking. Okay, everybody don't comprehend things well that's inside of trucking. Okay, it's our people out, out there that it's like that, you know, but they still got the work too. But they thought process is not like everybody else thought process. So you do what's best for you in your business, okay? Y'all remember that, okay? I didn't talk to accountants, financial advisors, business consultants, business attorneys, and everything like that to find out the best thing for me going forward on how I'm going to build my business. People who 
do this for a living. They get paid a lot of money to do this kind of stuff. So I'm not just shooting off my shoulder with things. I paid the money to get the expert advice for me to start what I need to start right, okay? I'm not saying everybody do that. I'm just saying that's what I did to make sure I'm making the best financial decision for me and the financial plan for me, okay? I'm making a lot more money than I ever did before, but I'm living off the same money I've been living off of for the last four years. That should tell you something. Just because I'm making more money don't mean I'm finna go out and spend more money. No, if $1,100 got me my house, my cars, and saving fifteen dollars to $2,000 a month, okay, $1,100 a week, why does it matter if now I'm making $5,000 a week? Well, minus the fuel. My fuel goes anywhere between $840 and $900 um, and $10, depending on where I go. Sometimes, you know, my, my fuel savings is good. But anyway, by the time you, you, you duck that out, it's, it's about bringing home after fuel and deductions. I'm bringing home about 45 43 Last week I brought home like 4300 bucks after fuel and um, deductions and everything. That was off of uh, 56 in uh, total gross. But I'm still going to live off my $1,100 and put the rest up inside the bank. Just because you make more money don't mean you go out there and spend more money. Oh, I'm making money now. Let me go buy everything that I ever wanted to buy before. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. If I was getting by with $1,100 a week, <laughs> again, I'm going to get by with $1,100 a week and put the rest of the money up. So that way, in the future, when something comes up, I have the money. See? You get all this money, and that's how these old operators do. They tell you about, oh, there ain't no money. There ain't no money for this. There ain't no money for that. And they'll be the same owner operator as soon as a big expense on their truck comes, they got to shut down. You don't hear about them no more. They don't got the money because they don't know how to manage their money. I made eleven hundred dollars. That's how much I paid myself. The business made the rest of the money. That's how much the business made because your business has to show a profit. Because if, when you it's, it's staying in business credit, when you're trying to get things from the bank, they want to see how much your business is making. They don't want to see how much you making. They want to see how much your business is making. All right, a lot of people got in trouble with that, and a lot of people couldn't even get those P, PIP loans and everything like that because they, they business never, never showed a profit. They taking all the profit for themselves. So y'all remember that too, okay? Okay, y'all decide what y'all going to do.